y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 2 let's play pleasant view so today we are with the broke family and they have upgraded they are moving on up i mentioned the last time i played the broke family that before we wrap up this season one of pleasant view that i want to give them a bigger house and you know what i figured just go ahead and do it we can you know come up with a little storyline as you know maybe um, she got the money from, you know, her husband's death or, um, like the, his life policy insurance or something like that. And maybe he had left something for Dustin and Dustin decided that he wanted to, you know, help his mom out and give them a bigger house because they definitely needed it. Now, I'm going to give you a tour of the house and you're probably going to think, wow, they're probably like, they have the nicest house out of anybody in our Let's Play. But that's because I decorated it and um, it's kind of hard to decorate in Sims 2 um, compared to like The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. There's not a lot of options at all. So I kind of had to go off of what looked good and I'm kind of like OCD about it. I want it to look good and I just wanted them to have something nice. So yeah, they, they have a nice house they have some nice stuff they are missing you know like a car i want to do it right and save up for a car i want to save up and get them a computer so they don't have like everything but you know they're doing really good and i'm really happy for them so this is their new house i think it's perfect it's not too big but i think it's the perfect size for them um so let me give you a little bit of a tour real quick so when you come on in, this is their nice little living room right here. And we have a desk. Um, we need to get a computer. I'm working on it. And then we have their kitchen, which Dustin and Bo are having breakfast this morning. They have a little mini half bath right here in the middle. Then over here we have Brandy's room. And then we have little Ethan sleeping right here. Now it is Ethan's birthday, I think, today. I th he should age up in this part to a toddler. Um, so he'll continue to sleep in the crib but once he ages up uh depending on where dustin is at this point we may just have him move in like buy another bed and have him share a room with his brother Bo. i'm not really sure yet but this is a Bo's room right here he's got a little toy box and i got him a little um God, electronic car. What is it called? I forgot <laughs> i think it's so cool i think they should bring that back in the sims 4 and then this is Dustin's room which I think is really nice and Brandy also got a little bit of a makeover I took her hair down she looks a whole lot younger she looks very pretty I took them shopping and I had her get some more of a fall outfit since it is fall time and she's just doing really good like her spirits are really high just because she has a nice house she's the mom of the year today she's made their bed she's made them breakfast she's cleaning up and yeah I'm just I'm really really happy for her we did have some neighbors come over and greet us when I was playing off camera um, and those were we had Gilbert Jaquette, ja ja uh, I don't know how to say his name, and then John Burb and Wanda Trinker. Now, I was thinking Gilbert was a looker, and I was like, mm, I wonder if he's married. Mm, I like, but she's unattracted to him. But she is attracted to John Burb. She was about to have a fit over him, but unfortunately, he is married, and as much as I do want her to move on and find love, I don't really want her to be a homewrecker. So we're going to have Dustin go ahead and take that trash out on his way to the school bus. And I do believe that Brandy has work today. Yes, um, we're going to have to hire a nanny when it gets closer to her going to work. Um, because I, I do really need her to make some money. Right now they have about 3000 left over. I'm not really sure how much their bills are going to be. I want to say that in The Sims 2, the bills aren't, like, super, like, crazy. But, um, you know, I, I, she definitely needs to, to go to work. And I know that uh, I wish it was an option just to send them to daycare. I'm going to have to, like, hire a nanny. So we're definitely going to need to, you know, get some promotions. So we can go ahead and pay the nanny. I'm not really sure how much that is going to be. But we did hire her when I took them shopping. And she did a pretty good job. So hopefully we'll have the same nanny back. But, yeah, um, earlier she had a want to get married. I didn't save it because uh, I, f I think it's very important that she learns anger management. And I think this is something, can we do this? Can you study? Yeah, okay, I think we're going to do that. We're going to study some anger management because I feel like 
she has taken a lot of her stress out on Dustin and just because she's kind of like a perfectionist in that sense and which you know it's kind of understandable I really do understand you know she's been through a lot um being a single mother but you know now that she's got this new house and a job and she really is in high spirits and she wants to be a better mom and she wants to learn to like control her anger you know of her husband's passing and you know having to do this all on her own which can be quite scary so let's have her come over here and not read we're gonna study anger management oh, uh. <laughs> Dustin has brought a friend home from school today he brought home Jonathan okay what <laughs> are they actually friends not really I think he brought him over to uh, find out what is going on between him and Angela Oh, I'm so excited, but he has work in a little bit, but I think he may have to skip out today because I think that we have some some drama going on that I really don't want to, you know, miss. Uh, also, we have Brandy getting up. She's trying to get a little bit of sleep before she heads off to her first day of work, and we have our nanny Karen here, but anyways, yes, we're going to get to the bottom of this, so let's come over here and kind of argue with him, you know. I love how he invites him over and he's going to get him in and be like, so what's your beef, dude? Like, what's your problem? You know, why would you kiss her? She told me that she was upset and that you was just, you know, kind of like pressuring her. And you completely took advantage of her when she was feeling, you know, vulnerable or whatever. So, yeah, let's continue to just argue. I don't want them to have a good relationship. I don't think that they would. I don't think that they would be friends at all. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, he's like, dude, you know, you really need to open your eyes. She's not into you, obviously. If she was into you, she wouldn't be inviting me over to her house all the time and calling me up all the time. And she didn't have to kiss me back. But she was adamant about getting me alone. It looks like Henny, Canny, <laughs> Nanny Karen is like, you boys, you need to settle down now. Your little brother's asleep. <laughs> All right, and he's like, yeah, okay, mind your own business, lady. All right, let's give him a noogie. Yeah. He's like, next time you want to freaking put your hands on my girl, remember that, all right? Just continue to argue. I don't want them to be friends. I want them to get in a legitimate fist fight. I want him to pay for his little flirting, cheating, home-wrecking self. You know, even though Dustin, he, like I said in the last part, he sees Angela as just a complete angel. He's not going to think the worst of her by no means. She's got him completely fooled, completely wrapped around her finger, which honestly, yeah, pisses me off too. I don't really care for her. I know, and me and you both know, that she was the one, <laughs> or me, but whatever, who instigated this kiss with Jonathan, and I love Dustin, I think he deserves the best, and I think he's really attracted to Meadow, and I think she's a pretty girl, so we're just gonna have to see how this all plays out, but I want these two to get in a fight, so I guess I'm just gonna have to have them sit here and argue all day long until we get down to the, like, the negatives to where we can fight, um, we're gonna make it happen though, <laughs> hopefully he doesn't leave before we can do that, looks like, um, Bo is home and he brought him a friend home. It's his, uh, she's, he's brought her home before, or maybe not. Maybe he actually just met her where they used to live. Yeah, Tessa. She's really, really cute. So, yay, he needs to have a friend because he really doesn't have any, you know, friends his age or anything. So, yeah, let's have him actually, he needs to get his fun up a little bit. Oh, well, you know what? He can get his fun up by playing with her, can he? Isn't that a thing? Can't they, like, play tag and stuff? Take my picture, play. Oh, Mary Mac! Oh my god, I remember all of this. I can play catch. Mary Mac, Mac, Mac. All dressed in black, black, black. Cops and robbers. Yeah, let's play cops and robbers. I love these little interactions. I think they're so freaking cute. But anyways, yeah, come on. Continue to argue. He's like not entertained at all. He's really struggling and he's got to pee. He's hungry. He's just really bored of this conversation but I'm determined <laughs> how is the nanny doing over here well okay she's oh gave her some privacy it looks like Ethan's doing all right these two's getting along really good okay good 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 these two you need a fight 
just get it over with. Take your anger out. Take your frustration out. Who is calling? All right, let's find out who's calling because I'd probably pee on myself if it was Angela. She would. Is Bo available to talk? No, dude. Who are you? I think that's uh, the gooey... What was his name? We met him at the shopping place the other day. Goopy. Why are you calling Bo? That's so weird. Uh, okay, Nanny, can you do something? Can we, like, influence her and ask influence to? Can we not do that? Um, I guess we could probably... I don't know if in The Sims 2 teenagers are allowed to watch babies maybe not maybe we'll just let the nanny hang around but i really really want her to cook some dinner because we're getting a little bit hungry the other day she cooked she needs to get on it but anyways these two look like they're getting along good his fun's going up great he wants to ask for homework help get an a plus report card and do his homework uh, really can you not go out this door <laughs> oh like this house they're like really tight for space but you know Alright, so we have the option now to torment him. Oh my god, we're making him cry. I feel really bad. He's like, come on, bow up, son, bow up. I want them to fight, though. Keep tormenting him. <laughs> and Bo's being a little innocent angel over here, doing his homework. Brady would have a fit if she came home to see Dustin having a fist fight in her new home, like destroying the furniture, everything. She would have a fit. Oh my god. Oh, he liked that? Really? What a weirdo. No. Wow, this is pissing me off. Well, I wanted them to fight, but uh, listen to bragging. Oh god, can I just like punch him in his face right now? We don't want to listen to your bragging. We're not impressed by you. We're not impressed at all. You're not even a threat. We're not bothered. We That's the thing. He, he can't even be bothered. Okay, your brother's trying to... Um, to sleep so can we not this nanny is a sorry piece of crap she won't even serve us dinner so i guess we're gonna have dustin come over here and serve some mac and cheese um uh, he needs to get his fun up he just finished his homework right he did finish it yes so he yeah he needs to get his fun up like i love the sims 2 i've mentioned this so many times it's my my one true you know sims game as far as my og but oh y'all you see how hard it was for me to get them to dislike each other and fight when realistically, you know, they should hate each other? It's kind of annoying. And then also, oh my god, I forgot about this though. They can bathe them in the sink. That is the cutest thing ever. And you know, actually, um, Pixelade, y'all probably know who he is. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, go check it out. He does like Sims news updates and everything. Well, anyways, he's been, you know, Collecting all of uh, Sim Guru Grant's tweets and all the questions that she's answered, you know, about upcoming, you know, content for The Sims 4. And there, I think there might be a possibility that they could change the way babies work in The Sims 4. How, like in The Sims 2, you can carry them around and they're actually humans. Like, or not humans, they're Sims and they're not objects. Because in The Sims 4, they're objects, which makes sense. So you just click on them and, you know, do stuff that way. Oh, little Bo wants to come sleep in his mommy's bed. But anyways, yeah, I think that'd be really cool for them to do, to update the babies and give us, you know, a little bit, you know, more to work with. Uh, no, we're not going to help with him. C grab a grab a bowl, eat. I mean, your needs are lacking, son. I think your mom will be home shortly. But anyways, y'all, yeah, I got distracted. I think that would be really, really cool to see like an update with the babies because there are things in the sims 2 that i love like the interactions um and the details is so detail oriented i believe that it kind of like got an award or something uh for being so detail oriented but at the same time some things just really aggravate me about it you know when compared to the sims 4 and you know other games um because you know technology has approved and everything but for one i think it's really weird that these two are sitting here eating mac and cheese and bonding when they're both snogging and kissing the same girl it's just kind of weird <laughs> but you know what i'm not judging if they want to i mean you know all right dustin i'll hand it to you i'm like encouraging you to be you know, a bully and, you know, stand your ground, I guess. But, you know, you're trying to be the better person because, you know, you want to be a better person. And you know what? I should I should be happy that you want that in life. But I think you should take his big nose and slam it into that macaroni and cheese. 
uh, you know what? Actually, I think you should probably just break up with Angela. Yeah, but, you know, mm, we're just going to let him find out. We're going to let him find out. And I did have a few people in the last video um, say that they do think I should keep the teens together for college. So I will definitely do that, keep them together, and we'll just kind of see the drama that way. See what happens. Maybe he'll find out how sly she really is. But look at here, Brandy has been promoted to drive through clerk out of the frying pan and into the fire. You don't have to clean anymore, but dealing with hungry communers and teen pranks will either make you or break you. Don't forget to smile. Brandy now works from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. starting immediately. Brandy brought home 168 today and got a bonus of 336. Cool. Okay. She is freaking exhausted. <laughs> Um, but I don't want her to go sleep in his bed. I want her to take a shower, hopefully, before she, like, falls asleep. Looks like Nanny Karen's leaving, so see you later, alligator. Oh, my God, we're struggling. Um, oh, my gosh, my poor dude. All right, um, no. I'm trying to click on the baby. Change his diaper. Put him back in the crib. You really need to eat some more mac and cheese. See, he ate that whole bowl, and it barely did anything to his hunger. It really gets on my nerves. Which, I understand that mac and cheese is not like a quality meal, but in The Sims 4, <laughs> you know, it, it would have filled him up, you know, or at least almost got him there. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and kind of like work on getting him to sleep, getting his needs up and everything, because that's like a freaking just task in itself, getting their needs up here. So anyways, yeah, let me just work on that. Okay, so it looks like he's going to help with birthday. So it looks like Ethan is aging up into a toddler and Brandy can't be bothered. Help with birthday. So is he going to age up? How is this going to work? Can he please age up? Because Dustin is, he's struggling. Brandy, girl, I was just bragging on you how you were being mommy goals and just really impressing me and then I, I know you're tired she's been working all day but I mean Dustin is struggling he really is help with birthday hold youngster I mean how do, how do we age him up how does this work does he do it I'm pretty sure he just does it on his own okay two o'clock in the morning we finally aged up Ethan and look at him he's got dark hair like Brandy he is so freaking cute Oh, look at him! Ethan just grew up from a baby to a toddler. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? That's great. How is his needs? Looks like he's doing pretty decent. Um, Yeah, I think just put him back in his crib and let your mommy deal with him. You know, she needs to get up and, and tend to her children. You really need to go get some sleep. You're He's struggling, y'all. I tried my hardest to get his needs up, but oh my god, what a struggle. So, anyways, I think Bo is, yeah, he should be waking up shortly. Like, look at the little detail and how he sleeps. See his little knee propped up? That is so freaking cute. I love it. And how he just flops around. Ah. Uh, and how I just miss things. But then I complain sometimes about The Sims 2. Aren't y'all just sick of me contradicting myself? <laughs> Alright, rise and shine. We got a baby to take care of. All right, so he, we, oh, we need to get, what do we need for a toddler? We need a little toilet. Do we have any room to put the toilet in here? Probably not. I'm sure that's going to interfere with something. So maybe we can put it here. Yeah, we'll do that. I guess we probably need to get him somewhere to eat. Um, I mean, yeah, we can get him these little toys. We'll put his toys in here. Alright, yeah, that'll do for now, but let's try to go ahead and, well, can we potty, bleh, no, stop, potty train him um, since he's about to pee on himself. Alright, Bo, you're doing good. You are you just make me proud, son. You made me so proud. Look at him making the bed. He's such a sweetheart. And then we're going to have him go ahead and get ready for school. I think I may actually have Dustin skipped school today. I know he skipped work yesterday, but I mean, look at his look at his skills. He's he's slacking today, y'all. He's he's struggling, and I don't think he'd be in a very good mood if he went to school. I don't think his grades would be that good. So I mean, obviously, if he doesn't go to school, his grades aren't gonna be good. But he didn't do his homework either. So you know, let's go ahead and have her use the restroom. What is he doing? 
Uh, he's going to drink this dirty bottle. Ew, you're going to get sick. Don't do that. I mean, we can get you a fresh bottle. Ethan, stop. Brandy, come clean up. She wants to... Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. What, honey? What? You want to have a baby? Huh? <laughs> Is three not enough? Who are you going to have a baby with? I mean, what are you doing? Do you think you have room for another baby? Do you think I have the patience for another baby? I don't. Uh, so I'm sorry. That's not hap... Uh, no. No, no, no. Don't lock it. How do I delete this? It's going to go away because that's not happening. School bus will arrive in about an hour. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to have Dustin just kind of skip today and stay home and, you know, get his needs up a little bit. But we definitely need to have her clean up. And um, I think we need to... Can we bathe him? How do we do this? Do we... Yeah, we bathe him in the bathtub, right? <laughs> sorry. I'm trying to remember how, you know, toddlers work. Um, he's super stinky. Where is he going? Is he going to wake his brother up? He is. Uh, don't, don't wake him up. Your mama's gonna do it, okay? Oh, Dustin, babes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're gonna have mom do it. Just let her bathe him. Yes, okay. <sighs> All right, y'all. You know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this part up here since it's been kind of a bit of a hot mess. But, you know, a lot has changed in the Broke household. You know, their new house and everything. So, I'm happy for them. I'm sure you guys are happy for them, too. I think that they definitely deserve it. Um, I love Dustin. He's my heart. You know, ah, Brandy, I, I do, you know, feel for her. But at the same time, her wanting to get married and then have a baby. I mean, girl, come on. Like, you can get married. I'm all for that. But having a baby right now seriously get a grip <laughs> he's disgusted by the diaper me too but anyways y'all i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up here i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up leave all your suggestions and comments down below and yeah with that being said i will talk to y'all later